before we get into marriage, I told my wife I run a restaurant business. It will be very tiring and I don't really have much time. Hi guys, I'm Chi Xiong. Okay, I'm a owner of the Bengyong Hakka Paiko restaurant. I'm the third generation, I would say. <laughs> I'm located in Klang and I'm selling Paikut rice. Okay, besides Pai Kwat, we are famous with the meatballs, the uh, mutton curry, we are Shun Choi, which is the uh, Asam mustard, and uh, our pork belly soup, our chi kiok cho, and uh, Hakka Sayo. These are the few dishes that quite uh, people would, it's a must have on their tables every time they come and drop by. La. Basically, Pai Kwat is because people, it's a, it's a most lean part of the pork, where I would say it's priceless. La. People don't think it's nice and all this, it's like a rejected part of a pig like that. Then we make it into very soft and tender and something special with our special marinated sauce. Then we make it into some another special dishes. La. We have a meatball as well. Our meatball is uh, different from others because it's crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside where we fill with a lot of our secret ingredients and it's like a one bite size with a lot of flavours inside. Our mutton is good because we only use loin. The loin part is boneless and uh, it's, it, does, it won't come with fats lah because we actually discard all the fats and all this. We pack with our hakka curry. Very thick and you know, strong aroma of the curry flavours. Then our chi tong tong. We are famous with that because uh, soup itself we boil with the, what you call that, the white pepper. We boil it for hours and you know keep adding, adding, adding until the whole bowl of soup itself uh, is very strong in the peppery uh, soup. I'm from Sunway College. I'm a marketing student, so I was halfway almost completing my degree. To me, education is just an education. What is really important is experience. No point having education if you don't hands on from something. I think it's pointless, lah. So I think. My uni, cert, my uni degree and all this is just a part of education. La. But what really important is it gives me different experience. There's one time I tried to get a job in uh, Starbucks in Central Mall. I tried looking for it, passed them my resume. Then one of the managers knows my parents and said, Hey bro, your parents run a very good restaurant, very big restaurant. You come here and look for a job. <laughs> your parents can pay you well. Starbucks job, they, they don't pay you well. So I was thinking, okay. So from that day onwards itself, I never start looking at other jobs lah. Because I just want to try how it feels to work outside, besides your parents' uh, restaurant. So after what the guy told me there, I didn't try to find other jobs lah. I fully focused on this business lah. I start learning from my mom is where on and off lah. It's like weekends I drop by, I look at my mom, say, I have you stir, you know, I have you put all the ingredients, I have you have you roll the meatballs and all this. That's where I learn, you know. It takes time to learn all this because it's not easy. Actually I really hundred percent settled down here is because of my mom. She had a she had a, a major what you call that surgery, which is a neurosurgery. Uh, that was one time where I came back from school, I dropped by at the shop just to look at her, you know, see how was the restaurant going on. So my I saw my mom wasn't feeling well. She was just sitting down, you know, like feeling very weak and I asked her what happened. She says it's just a normal headache and all I, then when I see her, I see something's not right. I said I told her that we have to go to the hospital, you go and get yourself checked. But she thinks that it's okay, don't don't have to do don't have to go this and that, don't want to trouble us. But eventually, after a few minutes, uh, I, I, she fainted at my shop. Then we, we fish, rush her to the nearest hospital, which is the three quarter. Three quarter, then we get her checked. Then the doctor found out that a, her brain, there's a blood clot in it. One of the vein, uh, major vein burst. So it will cost her a life and we have to send her to hospital. So we got her there and doctor said you have to op operate after two hours. Then doctor tell us all the procedure and all this, then we said you just proceed because my mom's life is very important now uh, because she's the main bone of this restaurant business. Uh, she's the main of it. So we try everything to save her. Eventually, uh, these things have then makes me like feel that like I must take over the business to prevent my parents from getting overstressed and tired. Uh. My mom is all completely fine, very well. <laughs> 
very well. Thank God, thank God, really. Uh, I'm not the only child. I have uh, six siblings. I have three brothers, uh, two brothers, including me, will be three, and another uh, three sisters. So I'm the only one running, and my eldest brother is running. But he's handling more on the you know uh, getting sorting out the ingredients parts lah. Basically, I handle a lot. <laughs> I handle for the manpower, financial, cooking part. You know the sourcing the raw ingredients and all this. <laughs> I wouldn't say so because I would say 70% because I have to leave another 30% for my parents as this is a pass down business, I have to leave something for them so that they won't feel like this business is completely taken and they have nothing to do and they won't feel like no value after the business is taken by their, their children, they won't feel like they have something there for them. So I have to at least leave some 30% but like jobs, you know, something like they have in power to manage the business as well. Early in the morning, we just wake up, you know, get everything prepped up, you know, we start the fire, we start cooking, start preparing the rice, the chicken, the pork, the meatballs and all this. We start preparing. Uh, early morning itself is the most rush part. Uh, you know, it's very packed, you know, we have to do fast, have to go and make it quick. So we, we have to open by the time a uh, customer walk in, it's ready to serve. Before we get into marriage, I told my wife, I run a restaurant business. It will be very tiring and I don't really have much time. To spend with family, the only time you spend usually is just after work. It's at night, or sometimes it's just one month once, two months once. We just take a time off. We just go to you know, go around, go makan, and all this. You know, spending time with the boys now. No, I I never feel regret at all because I think as a grown up, I should you know to take over parents' business. As a day goes by, our parents getting older, you know, getting older, then they are tired, they are weak. Then we have to run this business to make sure that this business continues. Where my parents actually put a platform there, and we youngsters have to just walk on it. It's really a lot more easier and convenient than previously. Uh. They won't scold me. Uh. This one is a while, they just pick on you a while you know, to make sure that you're doing okay. The things, uh, I mean, the, everything is fine, everything is doing well. It's fine. My plan was uh, to expand uh, in more like into a branch. branch but at the moment of time, I cannot because it's really short of manpower and I'm the only one really handling all this. I think it's not the right time yet. Lah. Not the right time yet. I welcome you all to enjoy my food here in Penghyang Hakka Baikut Restaurant. Thank you.